welcome all of you on platform of your pd education the holistic platform holistic uh, uh, body which is guiding you for all your career related exams so uh, population of india uh, boon or bane this is one of the topics in group discussion which is evergreen topic you know there are topics which are related to current like uh, we are talking about nowadays covid we are talking about uh, online education we are talking about the new education policy these are the topics which are related to current you know they will be in couple of months or uh, one year they will be in news but then there are some topics which are always in news you know so this is one of the topics and where how do you initiate it you say good, good evening friends my name is Vijendar Singh and I uh, initiate the discussion here friends the topic for the discussion today is population of India boon or bane good or bad strong strength or weakness in my opinion this is uh, the topic which is very interesting topic and it has many dimensions to it and I am very sure all of us this is also general topic and uh, we all have uh, uh, our own points to be discussed in this direction. So friends I will be discussing this topic in two aspects or two dimensions. One is what are the strengths of Indian population and uh, again opportunities and strength and opportunity when I am going to do. I am going to basically also talk about what are the challenges or what are the weaknesses of our this population. So I will be discussing, I will be doing short analysis of this topic, strength, weakness, opportunity, threat analysis. Now I open the house for the discussion. I am very sure all of us have some points to add into this. So this introduction ke panche points hai na, isme to you need not to even say anything related to the topic. One or two things you can say or you can give the dimension how you are going to say what are the various aspect of that and then open the house for discussion. Now when you want to when you want to enter the topic then you need to have some data or information. So let me give you some data now as far as the Indian population is curved we are the second most populous nation of the world second most populous you know we have 1.3 crore population as in 2018 so we are only after china we are the seventh largest nation seventh largest nation as far as the size is concerned and we are also the fourth largest economy economy now you know uh, to some extent our population justifies our size also and our economy also. Population density is more because of the size you know. We are not a very small country. We are 7th largest country and 4th most uh, more, uh, largest economy and very soon we will become the 3rd largest economy in the world. To run this economy yes population is required. So this is the things which we are going to discuss. To put more point we have a younger workforce you know. We have young workforce and to run the engine of growth of economy to run the growth engine of growth of economy workforce is required now what is the meaning of young workforce only six percent people are six percent people are more than 65 years of age only six percent so that means old people are not there 27 percent of the population is younger than 15 years 27 percent of the population is less than 50 years 15 years so very soon a uh, person uh, above 14 years can <coughs> become employable you know he can do some kind of job so uh, 15 years plus means they will be the part of workforce so almost one third of Indian population is less than 15 years so that will become the part of workforce and uh, India is growing economy and you know now uh, India is going to spend 6% of its GDP on education that is also the part so our population uh, strength is this we have the people to run the growth of economy economy is growing we are the developing country and at the same time we have workforce also and that workforce has to be quality negative is it is quantity and may not be quality the population may not be quality when we say quality what is the meaning of that that means education do we have qualified people almost 50 percent illiteracy in the women you see so women are not participating in the workforce so women are largely restricting themselves to household activities but for any developed economy women should part become part of workforce so education literacy is one of the main challenge which Indian population is to basically go for and that too education literacy should be vocational not theoretical vocational job related carpentry welding electrician 
job related good thing is new education policy is going to spend 6% of gdp and new education policy is putting more effort on this vocational education also so education literacy employability employable are we employable we are we employable we may not be vocational thing we do not know we have degrees so that is the quality uh, trouble second is health related one is education second is health related you know there is something which is called a human development index india is very poor in that human development index that simply says that uh, the human we are human but are we developed human i mean social parameters or social indicators or educational or uh, health wise indicators where do we stand so that way we are not good so indian population is there but literacy is less health issues are there uh, social divide is there so income divide is there so these are the another challenges which we have as of now so as we say now we are largest democracy but not mature democracy similarly our people largest by number quantity we are looking like second most populous but uh, not quality wise so we need to enhance our quality wise so this way you will add some kind of points challenges threats and and, and you have to conclude things in a positive note that yes now positive things are coming up the most populous nation china the people are not uh, having the language as english language so they cannot interact with others and also because of the china's aggression policies now world is trying to cut it off from the china and india has the opportunity uh, uh, technocrats of india are world recognized that we have the opportunity we are english speaking people so we can interact globally with other nations and our economy is to grow and we are young force as of now so these are the opportunities and may you be in friends we have large we are going to be by 2005 have i written somewhere no 2050 we will become the largest populated nation on the earth as of now every sixth person on globe is indian so uh, you know 16% 17% population of the world is india so uh, 2050 will uh, exceed will become the most population nation in the world but at that time we should become also the largest economy so uh, this 2050 ka target this when we exceed china you know that time we should be largest economy also so this way uh, this is our uh, basically this can be become our strength but it can become our weakness also if we do not invest in quality so we need to enhance quality so that every person contributes effectively to the growth of the economy and end of it you are to conclude that way we had a good discussion and friends population of the india may uh, may be positive may be good thing may be bad thing depending upon whether we are utilizing this population or not so india is a growing economy and for that we need people and we need to train people for basically growing the economy this is how you have to end up your discussion i hope you understood it now as i always say participate with us in group discussion which is going on continuously you can call on this number and we can go for regular gd online gd fine thank you